How many Kurtas do you own? I think four. Maybe five. Don't act like you're not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid reactions. Tune in for the <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions unit. It's Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juice and content. It's so juicy. Sometimes separately, but most That's times true. together. <laughs> most times together, but sometimes it does. It's an, it's an interesting experience. If you haven't had it, you should try it. Uh, and they brought us on Patreon. Follow official Twitter account. Ring the bell. We hope for the notification. Leave a blah, blah, blah. Ow! Today, hey, we are doing a movie review. Yep. It's a really loud camera. Uh, That's true. Our first film from Assam. Uh, I know it's a it's a it's a quite a small film industry, but we told you we don't we don't care what film industry it's from. We just want to see. Yep. We want to represent everybody, and we want to see good cinema. So we saw. What did we see, Rick? Amis. Amis. How do you pronounce which, it? Which on IMDb it says ravening. That doesn't make sense. No, because I'm pretty sure it means non-veg. Uh, yeah, I think literally it means meat. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. That, that makes sense. Uh, I yeah. Don't know, I don't know what ravening is. Uh, <laughs> weird. Uh, but yes, I know. Uh, it's a, a drama fantasy horror. I don't really want to read the synopsis because it kind of gives right. stuff away. Um, yep. So, uh, you know, we don't like to do non-spoilers, but I would say go watch this film and come back if you don't want to be spoiled. Yeah, uh, because we've got to talk about everything that's in the thing and truly uh, guys do yourself a favor put pause watch it it's a short film and then, it's a, and then come back and see the review okay so rick initial thoughts i freaking love oh my this god movie. it's so good <laughs> it's so freaking spectacularly good oh my god it is, it is uh oh, i've been I bottling just, this up since i watched it last night I'm i sorry. know i i i'm like I, I wanted i wanted to post about it on instagram i just wanted to say review coming but i didn't want to give anything away uh this oh, is an absolutely if, brilliant movie if you haven't seen it uh, yet, if you're still here, once again, stop, go watch it, and come back. Yes. We just told you it's amazing, okay? That's what you need to know. Go watch it. Don't go in yes. knowing anything. That's what I want yes. you to know. <laughs> yes. Uh, anyways, but yes, it was... Yeah, because we don't want to... This movie deserves you, if you haven't seen it, this movie, like all stories, because that's my slogan, let the movie tell the story, this movie deserves... The, the, the creators of this film, they deserve you to go in blind mm -hmm. and let this thing unfold before your very eyes as you experience the film yourself without spoilers. So we're assuming you've seen it if you're still around because yeah. now we're going to get into but. the meat of the review. <laughs> <laughs> but... We know most of you haven't seen this because yeah. it's from a small film industry and it's in a different language. Once again, as always... Stop caring about subtitles and go watch films that are good films. And this is a very good film. And support good films no matter the region. It's India. It's cinema. The larger world of this is that we're talking about a great movie. This is not India. This is not Assam. This is the world of the motion picture. And this thing is great. Yeah, so I want to thank uh, Anyard Kashi. Uh, obviously, he didn't do anything with it, but he kind of, um, it was, in the trailer we watched, it was presented by, because he saw this and was like, more people need to see it, so he basically backed it. Um, and No, and no wonder why. Yeah, you could tell watching the film why Anyard Kashi loves it. Um, but anyways, let's get into the film. Uh, directed and written by, say his name for me, Rick. Directed and written by... 
Uh, oh, hold on. I got to remove two things here that are blocking my screen. Uh, directed and written by Bhaskar Hazarika, who I believe this was uh, first only, or second. Yeah, first or second, just like the last of. Uh, film we saw we're talking about some pretty impressive directing debuts man and i think the budget was like little to none as well yeah i'm sure i, I believe the budget was like almost an independent film uh yeah i'm sure st style of budget uh and i don't think a lot of the actors are known for anything either they're not the two stars were what you call debutantes i think they had done some work before so this wasn't like an introducing like never acted before, but I this was I don't think they've done anything remotely close. This was like their big screen debut. Yes, which is why it's so impressive, uh, because one there was hardly there's very little thing. There was a few th things acting wise that I that I didn't enjoy, but it wasn't anything huge, and it wasn't from the main people. Um, so I thought the two main people were very very believable. And, and, and also just a, a beautiful, it's a testament to the directing uh, and the casting of it, um, a beautiful, weird pairing. Because that's how I describe yes. this movie. A very beautiful, warped, sadistic love story. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, yeah I, I, would, I don't like the title of it. Uh, of, uh, I, I, don't, I wouldn't have called it Meat. <laughs> I would have maybe I maybe would have called it flesh a love story. May, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that's it's 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 weird because it, there's so many different areas to where you're like, oh my god, okay. So there's this young guy and he's just weird. He loves meat. Weird. Yeah, it's just that's his thing. He loves meat. Cool. Okay. You have this doctor. Um, now she's like forming a relationship with this guy and she's married. Uh, but then you, you come in and you see her husband is almost basically neglectful or, or, or a dick. And so is her sister. And so she's also having an, uh, well, she's more having an affair. This girl's having an emotional affair uh, with this young guy. Um, and then, <laughs> uh, and so there's a bunch of different stuff going on. And you're like, okay, I, I don't know if they're good. I don't know if they're bad. I don't know if this girl's using him. And then he, he was just like, hey, I'm going to get a letter eat my flesh. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, and you, you saw it coming the whole time, but, like, I didn't see that part coming. I didn't see, like, um, him wanting to get it out. I, I thought they were going to get to the point where they just wanted to, like, together eat a human. But what made it so beautiful is that that's not where it went. It went, like, yep. this is their sex. Their yeah. sex is him taking meat out of him and her yeah. eating it. <laughs> yeah, he he literally he was literally trying to figure out a way how do I how do I get inside of her mm -hmm. without violating the relationship because she's a married woman. So yeah. I need I need you know, he's got that he's in love with her he's smelling her clothes he's dreaming about her and he's moving toward the direction of i want to make love to this woman so i can't get inside her that way uh -huh. mm. <laughs> <laughs> how can i get my meat <laughs> it is so it's so warped it, and i love it it's so warped and wonderful and say i i wrote i wrote a little paragraph as i am as i am liking to do right uh -huh. And so I wrote, first of all, there's so many, well, I'll just say it. It, it. This is an absolutely brilliant film for me in the same league with Parasite. And I actually like this, this is, one better than Parasite. I said it right after the end. I said, this is more creative and unique yep, than more Parasite. More creative than Parasite. I like and we this love one. Parasite, by the way. And we, we love Parasite. Parasite <laughs> is a wonderful motion picture. I like this one better. Yeah. And it's depicting... <laughs> the, the, thing, the thing that's so brilliant about this on so many levels is it's depicting multiple moral truths at once, and it's doing so with a cinematic intelligence I wish was more present in cinema as a whole. Anyone who makes the mistake of thinking this is primarily a statement about meat-eating controversies of the depicted region, which is something I know exists and know nothing about, yeah. they miss the larger genius of the film, because lessons like you are what you eat and immorality slowly eats at you, and forbidden fruit tastes good, 
and we all have skeletons in our closets, just some of them have a little bit more meat on their bones. Those are all over the place, and that's just a few of the tasty morsels this film presents in an allegorical and metaphorical smorgasbord of cannibalistic delights. Your synopsises as of late have been really good, Rick. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're spending a lot of time on them, I can see. They're good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's truly. That's truly. Uh, I only, I only, as you know, I, I only will write something like that if, if if I feel a film is really, really worthy and it it evokes and draws that that out of me. Like the last film we watched, it's just yeah. I, I can't I can't say enough about how good the movie is, I, and yeah. I knew you'd love it. Oh yeah, well, I loved it oh. immediately. Uh, thank you guys for recommending it to us mm. um and mm. I, I know a lot of people still haven't seen it and i'm hoping this will help uh, Please. from from this review i'm hoping that we at least some indians go see it as well uh because it, it, it's worthy of being seen but yeah there's so many things i i loved about it in terms of the twists and turns it took and, t and also the complexities uh yes. that it had i love that at the beginning it almost told the entire story uh because yeah she she obviously went to his friend's house who was sick and his stomach hurt and she said right at the beginning she said it wasn't the meat that caused your stomach it was the gluttony <laughs> and that's essentially what happened to her right yeah <laughs> it was yeah the, there's little things like that all over it was the gluttony of that she just kept wanting more and more and more and that they were like yep. okay let's kill somebody now <laughs> yeah uh, which it's, it's an incredible that it went that far. Uh, yeah, even even things like so. Okay, so like my notes at the very beginning were were very straightforward because the film is very straightforward at first. So I wrote, oh, he has a girlfriend. She's married. Hmm. You know, I'm just straightforward. And then it got to the point, you know, when you stay with the film, everything is either an allegory or a metaphor. Even to the point when when he vomits after he eats her. Yeah. That wasn't about him getting physically. He rejected her. Yeah. She was emotionally hurt because she was literally rejected. Yeah. I, I just, it's just so, so freaking smart. It basically took normal relationship stuff and just took out the sex and added cannibalism. Yes. <laughs> Which and is it, brilliant. <laughs> but the other thing that it did that I love, and here's, here's, here's one example I'm going to give technically that points to everything else about this film that I love the most, which is this. So I noticed early on the detail that the director took to making sure sound was, there were so many little depictions of things. Example, like that scene you just said, when she went to go see the guy who was sick, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, there was intestinal grumblings and moanings going on that sounded legitimate. Yeah. Um, little details like that throughout later on she's pressing into the stomach of a person and you're getting all of those sounds then you also got the sounds of the food cooking just these tiny little beautiful perfect things in the sound and the score that was an exact complement to all of the other little things that were going on like as much as this is a larger story about obsession and lust and gluttony it's also a story depicting about the power of the little things in intimacy something as small as a smiley face in a text mm -hmm. something as little as the brushing of a finger like i love the fact i i just i went oh my goodness at the at the end when they had this moment yeah because they They've been waiting for that. Yeah, the I want to talk about the ending because I love. At first, I you know I, I love the entire film, and then right when um, the police started getting involved and they started coming yeah. in, and they were wrapping everything up, and I was like, oh shit, God, yeah. God damn it! <laughs> I, 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 I was get I was like, oh, okay, why'd you have to ruin such a great film by like, uh, okay, why you? I get it. We're gonna wrap it up. I, I cool, but I loved that at the end that that shot made it perfect. It uh, did that that end shot made it perfect because it showed that they actually loved each other. Because for a yes. while you thought and you felt bad for the guy because you're like, okay, now she's using you. 
Right. She doesn't care about you. She now just wants right. your flesh because that's what she's gotten a taste for. And you're just right. like, I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you sad. So you're like, here, have have more of my flesh. And so right. like he was like limping around and all that. Cause and so you started feeling really bad, even though he's the one that initiated it. She started right. using him, and you didn't know if also the entire time it was almost that relationship that her sister or friend said um, that uh, you're you're leading him on and and. You you don't um, you're just using them to like eat good food and get, get that relationship mm-hmm. that you don't have with your husband, um, right? But in the end, that shot showed, I believe, that that they was they actually really loved each other uh, in the end, uh, and I thought that was that was a nice wrap up and a beautiful end shot uh, for the film. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if you did this, but I'm looking at the runtime on my my thing as it's clicking down. And I'm realizing there's only 10 minutes left in the film. And I'm thinking, how are you going to wrap this up without it yeah. being ruined? It was like, yeah. there's been many movies I've watched like that. And I was like, please don't ruin this. It's been so great. Please don't ruin this. It's been so great. Um, and just, yeah, shout outs to Lima Das, I, I believe, is the name of the actress who plays uh, Namali, the main woman. Yeah. Is that And 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 then the, the young man is portrayed by Argadeep uh is that Barua, I yeah. believe? Yeah, yeah, I just thought yeah. they were both great. I thought everybody in the film did really good. Except the only one I had a problem with was the husband. Uh, I didn't think he was particularly strong. Um, but it, it didn't did, bother it, me. But there wasn't. Yeah, it, it didn't. It didn't ruin the film or anything. Uh, but that's that was one of my only gripes. Outside of um, obviously, I think one of the things that Parasite had going for it over this is Parasite had more money behind it because Bong Joon Ho. He's a he, he has a he has, has a name. People know the name Bong Joon Ho, um, and so he had a uh, a lot more cinematography and beautiful shots. This Gosh. is this is like almost bare bones, um, like student film type. Exactly. Uh, yeah. In terms of the amount, like he just got a camera, and he's like, okay, go stand over there, and there's going to be cars passing. You can't shut down the street. I, I, at least that's what it looks like. I can't tell if that's actually what it is. Uh, but that's what it looked like, and so the quality of the film wasn't as good as like a Parasite, but it wasn't like a bad quality. That's not what I'm saying. It's just um, it, that's the that's the big difference. Like you'll see beautiful cinematography. You're not really going to see beautiful cinematography in this because beautiful right. cinematography often takes money as well. One hundred percent, and that's actually one of the things why I am more impressed with this than I was with Parasite. Because yeah. let's just face it, that yes. He is a, you know, parasite like all of his films. We haven't seen him, but I've seen highlights of them. He's a mathematician with his cinematography. I mean, his symmetry is extraordinary. But yeah, I guarantee he had a much higher quality camera and he had more cameras than one to use with much bigger production team. And I felt that this director and this crew did the absolute most they could with the little that they had. One of my favorite films I've ever seen out of India. And it Absolutely. Could be one of my favorite films. Because I just... Absolutely. I, th- I think this could be sent to an American and they would thoroughly enjoy it without seeing any other Indian cinema. Oh, yeah. It's 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 on my list of my favorite all-time films now. You know, like yeah. Gangs of Wasserpur and Lunchbox. And this is one of my favorite, not just Indian films. This is one of my favorite films. And what made it so wonderful, you know, when we're watching... When we're watching any film, we're rooting for it, guys. We we want the film. We don't want a film to be bad. Oh no! Especially, I, I value my especially, time. <laughs> yeah, value our time and value the art form. And especially when we're setting foot for the first time in a region, we know that everybody in that region and that industry is wanting to present their best foot forward. And man, Assam just knocked it out of the park. A hundred percent. Uh, yeah. So that was beautiful. Uh, I'm hoping you're still not here if you haven't seen it, uh, <laughs> because obviously you're spoiled now, and that's awful. Uh, <laughs> but um, let us know more oh, from us. We'll watch it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Let us know more from Assam uh, that we should watch. Anything else from this director as well? I don't know if he's doing anything else right now, um, but it, he he should. Uh, he should. I hope Anurag takes him under his wing. Yeah, and become one of his disciples, a hundred percent. So yeah, yep. let let us know more from uh, from uh, from Assam that we should be looking at uh, and other stuff like that because this was great, wonderful. I need some meat. Our 
stupid reactions. Tune in for